so this was the first uh, question uh, dear student so the onico mycosis so among the given options what is the nail lacquer which is used in the treatment so was this question there uh, yes please give a confirmation yes uh, in the options or a like for the video uh, dear students yes 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 nail lacquer was it mentioned or just it was given as topical uh, uh, antifungal which is used in the onico mycosis so onico mycosis is the, the fungal infection of the nails okay so in the class we have discussed the so many times the topical treatment modality which we are going to use in the case of the fungal infection of the nail we call it as a nail lacquer do you remember this pronunciation we have also discussed so please remember students it is the answer here is option b tababarol okay so this was actually a neat pg 2020 neat uh, 2020 Previous year question. So this was so most likely somehow INSCT people have you know try uh, try to ask like neat PG people somehow the the questions were not so lengthy and not so like clinical questions they were just like one liners. So, okay, somehow unki atma in me hus gaye shayad. So it is tabar baral. So I hope you all remember cyclopyroxolamine, ephinaconazole, amarolfin, tabar baral, tioconazole. so terbinafen these are all the topical antifungals which are useful for the nail uh, fungal infection that is onychomycosis so we have discussed this so many times so these are the nail lacquers or topical preparation basically these are nail polishes okay partially we call them as nail lacquers okay cyclopyrox olamin ephina conazole amarolfin and tioconazole and tababarol which is a boron uh, derivative okay it will have a boron molecule inside it and also terbinafen so i hope you can understand c at is the mnemonic with the help of which you can remember all this so these are all the topical preparation so you can see here this is the tababarol which is uh, the nail polish which is available okay nail lacquer or topical okay nail lacquer we'll call it posh cyclopyrox and ephinaconazole this we have seen in our class also and so this question it was already discussed by priyanka ma'am so himachal pradesh farmer gardener whoever it is not dilo ulcerative lesions if they are there if the lymph nodes are getting involved and the lesions are getting uh, you know uh, spreading from the distal end to the proximal end in a sporotrichoid pattern along the lymph nodes then we have to think uh, about this sporotrich sporotrichs okay 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 sporotrichs right okay uh, yes and uh, this was also discussed by ma'am so urethritis is caused by all except so please remember student the answer is going to be gardnerella the answer is going to be gardnerella right okay so i hope uh you are able to follow this and also remember students even trichomonas vaginalis is also associated with urethritis so it is kept under it is classified under non gonococcal urethritis so this is the next question so himachal pradesh you know gardener uh, or a uh, uh, farmer walks barefoot so what is the infection so it is answer is going to be madurella mystomatis so if there is any uh, you know difference between the options which you have remembered and which you think uh, were not covered so please put in the comment section whatever options you feel were asked in the actual uh, exam okay and uh, this was also discussed so foul smelling vaginal discharge cervix appears normal wish test is positive so answer is option a bacterial pathogenesis okay so this uh, was the dermatology so rest of the others were integrated with uh, medicine and also i can say microbiology so i hope it was you know uh, it was a complete discussion related to dermatology so if you are having any more questions or if you feel any options are wrong so please put them in the comments i will just uh, uh, see them and uh, may, try to make a perfect complete recall uh, after few days uh, of course in the app it is going to bubble yes uh, students are you having any queries related to this uh, is it fine or shall we move on to the next uh, subject is yes, if you are having any doubts please put uh, those doubts in the comment section i am uh, all eyes on the comments Thank you.